Today we're going to be taking a look at part number HM11143690. This is the Hopkins plug-in simple vehicle wiring harness with a four-pole flat trailer connector. This product is going to fit certain years of the Nissan Pathfinder. Now the reason why they call it a plug-in simple vehicle wiring harness is because you don't have to cut or splice any of your wires. The connectors on this unit are OEM connectors, which means they're going to perfectly match the connectors on your vehicle. The wire functions are all going to be printed on the taillight converter. It's going to come with your terminal grease packet and a dust cap for the four-way flat connector to prevent corrosion. So that limits the amount of moisture that can gain access to those terminals, which is going to keep the connector safe from the elements. And it's going to include zip ties, wiring, and all the necessary connectors. Now, one of the things I really like about this system is all the connectors are already pre-attached uh, to one half of the wiring. So we don't have to worry about attaching them. All we have to do is insert the wires in the other end and crimp it down one time. So it's a really nice system. Also here on the ground wire, that's going to be the white wire. It's got the ring terminal on there. That's got a serrated edge design, so it really makes a solid, good ground connection. Now this unit's going to provide your four-way flat trailer connector at the back of your vehicle. That's going to power your trailer signal lights. It is compatible with five-pole, six-pole, and seven-pole adapters. If you do need an adapter, it is going to be sold separately. It's going to include your taillight converter. This is going to ensure that your vehicle's wiring matches out of your trailers. This is going to connect directly to the vehicle battery through the wiring to avoid overloading the vehicle's electrical system. Now again, this is a plug-in simple vehicle wiring harness, so it's going to connect quickly and easily. On the back of the product packaging slip is where you're going to find the detailed instructions for the installation process. But you'll need to begin by locating the connection points in the rear cargo area. Uh, the instructions are going to indicate where those are located. And then you're simply going to take your OEM connectors and you're going to make sure that they get plugged into the appropriate ports. They're going to snap lock together for a nice tight secure fit. Once you have those connected, you'll need to make your ground connection. Again, that's going to be your white wire. It's got the ring terminal on there. You want to ground that to a nice clean metal surface using the included self-tapping screw. And then you can mount your taillight converter. It's got tabs located right here on each side. You can run your zip ties through there and secure it to an out of the way location. Next, you'll need to run your hot lead to the vehicle battery. Hot lead is going to be this red wire right here with the blue buck connector. That's going to get connected to the bundle of red wire. The other end of the red wire is going to run all the way up to the engine compartment and it's going to get connected to this half of the fuse holder. It's already got the buck connector on there. And then the other half of the fuse holder has a ring terminal attached to it. That's going to get connected to the positive post on the vehicle battery. It's already going to come with a 15 amp fuse and it's got the nice little cap that goes over that to secure it. Once you have all that connected, you'll need to go ahead and secure the wiring harness with the extra zip ties that are included with the kit. Make sure all your wires are secured up and out of the way. And then once you're done, the four-way connector is going to be stowed beneath the vehicle near the trailer hitch. If you need a mounting bracket to keep the connector secure, you can find those right here at eTrailer.com. They are sold separately. Now when it comes to the maximum amperage for the stop and turn lights, we're looking at 3 amps per circuit, and for the tail lights, we're looking at 6 amps per circuit. That's going to do it for today's review of part number HM1114369.